Recall in the previous video we said that in this model where we regress food expenditure on the income of an individual, we do not have we do not have a constant variation of the error term, so we do have heteroscedasticity in the model because we're emitting a variable and we want to prove why that does not imply omitted variable bias. So what were we saying is that the preference of the individual matters. So one additional variable could be a dummy variable for preference, right? Preference for expensive food versus preference for non-expensive food, for regular food. So instead of instead of having just the variable of income over here, let's add, let me just crop this out. Actually, it's going to be messy. Let me just crop it like that so we can make it more accurately. We'll do it here. We crop, we crop it, yes, and now we write a dummy variable, uh, let's call that gamma, times a dummy variable so for food preference. So over here we have preference, and let's say one is going to be a preference for expensive food, one stays for expensive food, and zero stays for cheap food. Now, why do we still not have omitted variable bias? Remember the requirements for the omitted variable bias. We must have a correlation between the independent variables, so this must be correlated, and the omitted variable, because recall, this is omitted. This is not what we have in the original model. So this is what we are omitting. The omitted variable must affect the outcome. What we saw is that the omitted variable does affect the outcome. We saw that depending on the preference, people decide how much to invest in food. But we have no reason to say that we have a correlation between income and preference. Like the preference for cheap food happens regardless of how much you make. You could be used to cheap food all your life, so you could become a millionaire and still eat the same food. That's possible. There is no correlation here. And whenever one of these requirements does not fit, we are not having omitted variable bias. So literally, we are not having the omitted variable bias because we do not have the correlation between the independent variables. We do have an omitted variable in the model that might help us regress better, but we do not have OVB. So there is no omitted variable bias. That's good no omitted variable bias but if we do include this omitted variable of preference we might have a better estimate because remember this was not the best estimate that we had it is unbiased we just proved because we do not have the omitted variable bias but it is not the best how can it be better it could be better if we control for the variable that would help us predict better results so if we include the preference we would control better for the food expenditure so that eventually when we draw the regression when we draw the regression, we would be able to fit the data better. Better. So in that case, our estimate would become blue again. That's the idea. So heteroscedasticity, yes, but no OVB. It's unbiased, but we might have a better estimate if we take into account what we're missing. That's the highlight. Hope this all makes sense, and we're done.